Hello, I'm Dr. Jeff Gold, and welcome to this segment of Under the Microscope. Thanks so much for being with us today. We have a very special new guest, and that's Dr. Jennifer Blackford. And Dr. Blackford is the Director of Research at the Monroe Meyer Institute for Developmental Disabilities. Uh, well, Dr. Blackford, first of all, thanks so much for giving us your time today, and welcome to Nebraska. It's great to have you with us. Thank you. I'm so excited to be here in Omaha, and thank you for having me today. Well, you've been here for a bit now, and, uh, and what are your early impressions? Uh, I, I know you and I had a chance to chat at some length before making the final decision to come here, and I'm so glad uh, that you did, but uh, what has it been like for you? Well, it's been everything that I hoped for and more. Um, Omaha is a community. You told me what to expect, and it's been the most amazing, welcoming group of people, both at work and in my neighborhood, and really everywhere I go, the grocery store, um, the eye doctor, the CVS to get my prescriptions. Um, work has been amazing. MMI is in a gorgeous new building, and it's built especially for children and their families, and I've been impressed with every single person I've met so far. So definitely the right decision. So in, in your responsibility as the director of research, which is a lot of responsibility for the Monroe Meyer Institute, how does the new facility uh, and all that that entails fit into the ability to do quality clinical research? Well, the first thing is we have amazing clinical services and we've got a lot more space to do those. And so one of the things we'll be doing is building outcomes data collection into our clinical services. And so that's really gonna be the core of what we do is to measure what's happening, the exceptional quality care, and look at what leads to the best children's outcomes. The second is that we've built beautiful research facilities into our clinical space. And so we've got cutting edge, state of the art research facilities, including my lab where we have a mock scanner so children can practice getting an MRI scan. And it's built right into the clinical space. So families know they come for their clinical services and then they come right back to participate in research. And so it's just beautifully integrated. Um, so families know us and feel comfortable and that really facilitates us being able to make it easy for families to participate in research but also to give that information back to the clinicians so we can integrate our discoveries back into that top-notch clinical care. So tell our audience a little bit about your own research priorities because I was really very, very interested in them. Sure, so my own personal lab, my research is really focused on discovering the biology that leads to anxiety disorders. And anxiety disorders are highly prevalent in kids and, and we often see it in neurotypical children. It's easy to detect. Um, my goal is to bring of my own research um, into developmental and intellectual disabilities the awareness that a lot of kids are experiencing high levels of anxiety um, as a comorbid condition, so kids with autism spectrum disorders that also have a lot of anxiety that may be underdiagnosed and undertreated, or children with um, Down syndrome who may have anxiety or depression. And so I'll take my own lab's research in anxiety um, in neurotypically developing children and start to bring that into MNI, uh, MMI. So that's one of my um, focus areas. And the other is really to help others build some neuroscience infrastructure into the questions that they're asking so that we have kind of all the aspects. We're doing amazing training, amazing clinical work, and now bring neuroscience discovery to MMI. Well, you know, I can't tell you how pleased we all are across the campus and across the entire University of Nebraska system to have you with us. Uh, you know, the ribbon cutting is coming up in just the very first week of June, is that not right? And we're going to bring some of the major donors together, of course, socially distanced with uh, masks and face protection just to be sure we're safe. Yep. But that's going to be a really exciting day. Oh, we are so excited. Um, we were hoping we'd be, ha be able to have it open to everybody, um, but we definitely want to respect um, that COVID is still in the community and we want to keep uh, everyone's safe. So we will have, as you mentioned, restricted. We'll have our donors there. Um, we're placing the final pieces of art. We have this fabulous kinetic sculpture, a moving sculpture um, that is being placed today. And we just can't wait to show people this amazing facility. Um, I've bumped into people just in the neighborhood whose kids are receiving services and they've already said the building is fabulous and it really makes them feel 
like they're taken care of. Um, we'll be doing a small celebration with our employees later at the end of the week so that we have a chance to all really enjoy and celebrate this tremendous achievement um, that's been made possible by UNMC and by incredibly generous donors. Well, this is just a Nebraska way, you know, uh, pay it forward, uh, give to the community. It's uh, just amazing. Well, Dr. Blackford, thank you so much for joining us today. I really appreciate it. Thanks for having me. It's a pleasure, and I'm so delighted to be here at UNMC and at the Monroe Meyer Institute. And thank you for joining us today on this segment of Under the Microscope. <laughs>